Have you ever heard of the River Stewardship Council or SUASCO? Sudbury, Assabet, and Concord Rivers. Most of these rivers is designated as wild and scenic according to a federal act. And a river conservation plan was completed in 1995. For this program, I adapted a PowerPoint presentation, which is to grow awareness about a conservation plan update. The Wild and Scenic Act was passed in 1968 at the federal level to protect water quality. We are lucky that the Concord, our drinking water source, enjoys federal protection. It came to be because there was a concern over the quality and the quantity of drinking water and because the right actions were taken as a result of that concern. A river conservation plan was completed. So-called ORVs, outstandingly remarkable values, were found. Those ORVs are required to be eligible for the wild and scenic designation. All eight communities in the Suasco watershed voted to adopt the Wild and Scenic Act and Congress designated 29 miles of the rivers in 1999. Part of the Suasco segment which meets the Wild and Scenic criteria is located in Birrica. Keep an eye out for those spiffy new signs by Route 3 and Route 4. The current ones are rather faded after 20 years of exposure. And the 1995 conservation plan got a little faded too. That's where the River Stewardship Council comes in. With representation from the state, from land trusts, from the National Park Service, from the US Fish and Wildlife and local representatives to implement that river conservation plan. So what are those ORVs, those outstandingly remarkable values? What makes our river nationally or even internationally unique or exemplary? Well, Thoreau is famous all over the world, whether you call him Thoreau or Thoreau. The North Bridge with its shot heard around the world. It is wonderful to relax and enjoy the scenery, the wildlife. Thanks to the wild and scenic designation, the scenery has been better preserved, in some communities more than others. Although Bartlett's Landing near Concord Road is a fine new boat launch for Bilrica, access for recreation has decreased rather than improved. There's still work to be done. As for a launch by Route 4, Nashua Road, it was discussed, but somewhere down the line a ball was dropped. The reason for my presentation is to raise awareness. A new plan will be written. Some goals will be the same and some will be new. Climate change is an issue. An invasive species is a new issue. We seek public input. Share your vision. What threats do you see? What opportunities? Would you like to be part of solutions? This past June, Billerica participated in the River Fest with free paddle and fishing events from the Recreation Department at Mikosi Beach, a walk with the row along the Middlesex Canal, and a paddle starting behind the North Billerica Fire Station all the way to the Centennial Dam in Lowell. Any interest in helping remove the invasive water chestnut plants? Or creating a BATV production about our Concord River and its tributaries? Shoot me a message on Facebook or visit the Hike Beautiful Bilrica Facebook group. As I always say, winter is best for hiking and blue trails, the rivers, are best in any other season. <laughs>